In India, COVID-19 cases with variants of concern rose from 10.31% of total infections in May to 51% till June 20th, and it includes the alpha, beta, gamma, and delta variants. These variants have been traced in 174 districts of 35 states and union territories. With the maximum reported from Maharashtra, Delhi, Punjab, Telangana, West Bengal, and Gujarat. Now, according to the details shared by officials with the parliamentarians, coronavirus variants of concern led to increased transmissibility, change in virulence, and effect on diagnostics, drugs, and vaccines. So, are the vaccines available in the Indian market effective against these variants? Well, as per PTI report. A study by the Indian Council of Medical Research and the National Institute of Virology on the efficacy of co-vaccine and COVID shield against coronavirus variants of concerns found that antibody potency is slightly reduced against these strains as compared to standard strain. But the vaccine is effective in protection against severe forms of disease. The Parliament panel was also informed that a similar study on evaluating the efficacy of both these vaccines. Against the latest variant of concern, Delta Plus, is being conducted and will be completed within the next two weeks. Now let's understand the threat of Delta Plus from World Health Organization chief scientist Soumya Swaminathan. Delta variant was described first from uh, India. It has a combination of mutations which make it much more transmissible. It's at least two times as transmissible as the um, original virus. And what does that mean? That means that if somebody gets that infection, they probably have a lot more viral load. They're able to transmit it more easily to others. The virus is able to go and uh, enter the the uh, cells of the respiratory mm -hmm. tract, and therefore, the chances of one person instead of spreading it to two people could spread it to four, six, or even eight people. The good news is that most of the vaccines that we're using in the world today um, seem to be effective, at least against preventing. Severe disease, and that's what we're really interested in. We have looked at efficacy, we've looked at safety, and it it appears that these vaccines are working in different parts of the world, where different variants are circulating. They are preventing severe disease, they are preventing hospitalization and deaths. What we do need, and what we encourage um, research institutes and countries to do now, is to systematically track vaccine effectiveness, which means that we need studies in multiple countries using different vaccine where we are following up a group of people who are vaccinated to see whether they are protected, how long they remain protected, are there breakthrough infections? If there are breakthrough infections, we need to be sequencing them. That's the way in which we can collect more information. But as of now, the data that we've seen um, convinces us that uh, the vaccines are protecting people and that they sh must continue to be used. So, what is the way forward, and what India must do to stop the spread of infections? Here is what AIMS chief Randeep Guleria had to say. Care structure has been challenged. Uh, we have just come out of a devastating second wave, and this has really stretched our resources and challenged our resilience. And as we now uh, sort of prepare for the possibility of a third wave and new variants like Delta Plus, it is very important for us to take stock and see what we can do. I think what we need to do is do is look ahead and see how we can strengthen our public health system, keeping in mind the lessons that we've learned from the past. And the reason why I think this is important is not only because of the current pandemic, but the last 15 years has shown us that for the future, we will have to be prepared for ongoing outbreaks and pandemics. If you look at what's happened in the last 15 years, we've had enough warnings. We had the bird flu outbreak, uh, which was uh, H5N1, we had the swine flu, we've had SARS, MERS, Ebola, Zika. A large number of viral outbreaks have happened in the last 15 years. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com.